All right, one more thing that's going to happen if you're working with the conceptual mass, which I have here in this project. This is a conceptual mass that I made in the conceptual mass family. Um, is it will possibly disappear when you reopen your file. So I'm going to show you how to um, remedy that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And I'm going to close it. So close it up. And I'm going to go and open it. So I'm reopening the same file. And I'm going to go to my 3D view. And there's nothing there. The mass is actually there. It's just been turned off by default by Revit. So I'm going to turn them back on. There are two ways to do this. The quickest way is to go to Massing and Site and go to Show Mass Form and Floors. And now it will come back on in all of your views. The other thing that you can do, because every time that you close and reopen, you'll have to do that. The other thing that you can do is in any views that you want to see the conceptual mass, you can go to your Visibility Graphics dialog and you can scroll down, see if I can get this whole thing in there. You can scroll down to your masses and turn them on. For every view that you turn these on in, it will always be on whether you save it or open and close it. So now even if I say show mass by view settings, it'll still show in this view, but it won't show in my plan two schematic it won't be there. I would have to go to show mass form and floors or I would have to do my visibility graphics, scroll down, and turn them on here. Okay? All right. It's a bit of a pain, but you can just do the show mass form and floors if you want to. So now show mass by view settings. It will show, but it won't show in plan one schematic, right? So that's it. All right.